Let's look at converting decimal numbers to binary numbers. One way to do it is using a method called successive division by the base. And uh, here's how you do it. You draw an upside down division symbol uh, around your decimal number that you want to convert. And then you divide 2 into that number. And so 2 goes into 29 14 times. 2 times 14 is 28, so we have 1 left over. Now you put that remainder over here in a remainder column. A remainder column there. And then you draw another upside down division symbol and divide 2 into this number. So 2 goes into 14 7 times. 2 times 7 is 14, so there's 0 left over. So you write your 0 down. And you continue this process, continually dividing 2 into uh, the number you have left over. So 2 goes into 7 3 times with 1 left over. 2 goes into 3 1 time with 1 left over. And you always end up with a 1 on the bottom. So you just bring that over. And this is your number. Now the next problem is which way do you write the number out horizontally? Is it 10111? or is the number 11101. Uh, the way I like to remember it is I think of this as a tall tree and I chop it down and let it fall over to the right side here. So you just let all these numbers fall over and rewrite it so you have 11101. And so that's the correct way to uh, write this number out. This binary number is equivalent to the number 29. Now the next step is to make sure you did all your arithmetic right is to check this number by converting it back into decimal. So you write your column weightings 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and wherever you have a 1 bring down your column weighting. So we have a 16, an 8, a 4, there's a 0 there so we don't bring that one down and then finally a 1 and add those all up and so we get 19 and 2. So we get 29. It checks. And so that tells us we did the conversion correctly. Let's try another number. 140 decimal. So we write our upside down division symbol. Divide 2 into that. We get 70. 2 times 70 is 140. So we have a remainder of 0. So we have a remainder column there. Divide 2 into 70, and it goes 35 times. Remainder 0. 2 goes into 35. Uh, let's see, how many times is that? Um, 17, I believe. That's 2 times 17 is 34. So there's 1 left over. And 2 goes into 17 um, 8 times. 2 times 8 is 16, so we had 1 left over. In fact, whenever we have an, an odd number here instead of an even number, when it's an odd number, you'll have a 1 for your remainder. 2 goes into 8 4 times. 8 is an even number. We get 0 remainder. 2 goes into 4 2 times with 0 left over. And then 2 goes into 2 1 time with 0 left over. You always have a 1 on the bottom. Bring it over. Chop your tree down, let all the numbers fall over this way, and so we end up with 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Write our powers of 2 up here. 16, 32, 16, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, a 1 in the 8's column, a 1 in the 4's column. So add those numbers up. We get 16, 20, 4, and 1. 140, it checks. So this binary number is equivalent to the decimal number 140.